They like that. You know, Vishnu Janan would always be emotional, get teary eyed. This is August 1970, New Vrindavan. I was a brand new devotee and Satsarup Das Adhikari and Uddhava Prabhu drove some of us new guys down from Boston to New Vrindavan for Janmashtami festival, which was the festival in ISKCON at the time, it was pre-India gatherings. In those days it was standard practice in ISKCON to do near jal fasting on, on these big days like Gaur Purnim and um, Janmashtami and Vaspuja, which means no food and no water. And at midnight on Janmashtami we'd have a little breakfast drink, like a salty lemon drink, and, and that was it. And then we'd fast all day till noon on Vyaspuja. You know, that wasn't considered any kind of fanaticism, that was just the standard, that was just what we did. This was the first uh, international GBC meeting where all the devotees Prabhupada had chosen to the governing body commission met together for the first time to begin sharing some of the load of management that Prabhupada had carried alone through the entire movement. So up to that time there was some controversy going on in the ISKCON at that time. He was testing our abilities to manage the movement. Subal, Brahmananda, Gargamuni, and Vishnu John were together and they came to this president's meeting. They weren't presidents, they were new sannyasis. Now the president's meeting was happening in the temple building on New Vrindavan and meanwhile the first GBC meeting was happening at Hayagriva's house which was on a little hill right next to the temple but up the hill. Brahmananda and Gargamuni and Subal, Vishnu John didn't have much to do with it, took over the president's meeting and started doing this whole trip on us about how we were gotten way ahead of ourselves, we, we couldn't even understand who Prabhupada was, what to speak of understanding who Krishna was, and we should understand that our entire relationship was with Prabhupada. And when you read Bhagavad Gita, you shouldn't read Sri Bhagavan Uvacha, you should read Srila Prabhupada Uvacha. So what do I see when I jump out of the van hours and hours later from Boston is uh, one of our sannyasis holding somebody against a fence and saying Prabhupada is God, Prabhupada is Krishna and because we haven't recognized this he's left us. There I was brand new thrilled by Prabhupada's Bhagavad Gita as it is joining the Hare Krishna movement and here I two months later I'm attending my first festival and I right before my eyes I appear to be seeing the entire movement torn asunder by this controversy. Prabhupada confronted us, myself specifically, with the minimization in Los Angeles uh, at, before taking sannyas. It was the most shocking experience of my life. Prabhupada's chastisement was so severe. Spiritually, I could feel Prabhupada withdrawing his mercy. And then Prabhupada uh, gave us the sannyas, so I felt, and the others, that we have to compensate for the minimization and the way to compensate for that was to emphasize. Instead of underemphasizing Srila Prabhupada, we should now overemphasize him. Our devotees were leaving. They were blooping. You know, there were devotees just crying and walking down that road, down the bottom of the mountain, and just leaving. Now these are devotees who are totally dedicated to Prabhupada. There's no other reason for them to be in this movement. There was nothing except Prabhupada. So every devotee that you see in this film, they're there because of Prabhupada. They're in the movement because of Prabhupada. No one else, nothing else. And suddenly these men 